Anyway, it's in time. We're getting back to what uh, Mr. Wilson said, uh, Woodrow, after he'd uh, made a pact with the devil and the uh, bankers had made a pact with Satan to say, you know what, I'll sell my soul to you. Just give me control of the money. See, the love of money is the root of all evil. Not money in and of itself to pay bills. I'll say it again. But the love of it. If you turn money into being your God, that you can have everything on earth you want through that money, that you can be so powerful through that money, that you know what, it doesn't matter about the homeless, the helpless. It doesn't matter about uh, how many abortions committed. It doesn't matter how many people are, are, are in retirement age and you stole their money that they can't live right. See, because what I'm saying is this. They do not care about the well-being of another human being, like I do, and like you do. They do not care that there are older people that are, are on the verge of starvation. They do not care about it. They sit there, and they drink their wine. They drink their champagne. They eat their caviar. They fly in their daggum Lear jets. They ride around on their yachts, and they think that they have happiness in the Cayman Islands when it's winter somewhere. They go somewhere else. They go up here and ski for a little while, and then they come back. And yet, at the same time, if you could put them down and sit them down, down beside the end-time watchman, and I could, by God, ask them, are you happy with what you've done? You know what? They would say, I'm a most miserable human being because all the money that they've got can't buy them love. Glory to God. All the goods they've got, the material goods, can't get them into heaven. Glory to God. All those things they have, it's only a temporal thing because this is a natural life they're in. But I got news for you. I come by here tonight. I just come by here tonight to tell you something. Glory to God. There's the eternal state that we're going to be in. Once, once we're absent from this body, our spirit goes on and lives forever. This body goes back to the dust. But glory to the living God. There's an eternal state that you're in. And you're either in condemnation or you're in salvation. You're either justified by faith, glory to God, through Jesus Christ, or you're condemned to hell through living for Satan. And I didn't mean to get started up, but by gosh, it's my computer and my internet, my DSL. And I think I can do what I just feel like doing. If you don't like it, bye. Anyway, let's move back on to what Woodrow said. Mr. Woodrow Wilson sold his soul to the devils. Anyway, here's what he quoted and said. Like I said, we don't want that horse to get dry. We're riding in that. He said, I'm a un most unhappy man. I've unwittingly ruined my country. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to stop right there. Okay. Now, that in and of itself does not, does not in any way bring about, and God, you got to help me with this, that does not bring about the destruction that should be told of what he did. Okay? By saying he ruined his country, I mean, big deal, a bunch of friggin' acres. No, he ruined every person that has a bank account. He ruined every person that wants to do right and have their own land. And I mean, he just ruined it all. You see? By the stroke of a friggin' pen, he ruined it all. Well, let's move on. He says, a great industrial nation is controlled by its system of credit. Our system of credit is concentrated. The growth of the nation, therefore, and all the activities are in the hands of a few men. We're talking about Woodrow Wilson when he, he said this after he told the 12 private bankers, Yes, sir, I know you've already sold your souls to the devil. I'm fixing to sell mine by the stroke of a pen. You see... I'm taking the natural things that have took place in the past. I'm giving you a spiritual connotation. And I'm trying to make you understand that there's an evil behind what's going on. And I know, I tried to put this out months ago. And I had some little punk uh, gals, 22, 23 years old. I'm not calling all 22, 23-year-old women punks. But I'm saying these, these people that think they, you know, they, they know more than they ever knew. And they ain't got no sense to pull piss out of a boot type women. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about those that are fighting against New World Order, but I'm talking about these little old uh, 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 educated, they, you know, they got more sense, you know, than anybody else. They walk around and they're pressing around, and, uh, you know, they they just think they eat when they're nothing. They're nothing. In other words, let me just throw this in there, and this will be a, a later on message, because see, end time's gone to preaching. I'm not doing much intelligence on here anymore. I'm going to keep my sight. If hell freezes over, I got it, baby. But, uh, 
any event, uh, what I'm saying is this. They bound up by a Jezebel spirit. See, Jezebel controlled everything. She was a woman that was in control of her husband. She controlled the land. Anybody got in her way, she killed them, manipulated them. She ostracized them with her little devilish tongue, and she browbeat them with her tongue until she had her way. Preach on, William. I think I will. See, that's not a woman. But let's get back to this. And you know who I'm talking to. Praise God for the ladies that are out there standing up making videos against the New World Order, against this devilish mess that's going on. Praise God for you, ladies. Proverbs 31, woman. Go read it. You bunch of devils is coming against us. You little old penny ante gals that think you something and you ain't nothing. Had, hey, you, you have more abortions than Carter had liver pills and you think you know what's right. You better look at yourself again. That's what you better do. But anyway... He said, no longer a government by free opinion. No longer a government by conviction of the voter majority. But a government by the opinion and duresses of a small group of dominant men. In other words, bam, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. The love of money is the root of all evil. And from that point on, there's never been a fair election. From that point on, it's always been controlled by money. They put the little puppets in power, glory to God. They put them in power by their money. And they said, who will be here? Who will be there? And I'll translate that to the now or to the last year. Do you remember when Barack Obama and uh, Hillary Clinton we're running against each other. Joe Biden, he was 3%, 2%, 1%. My God, man, how did he get to be vice president? Because the Bilderbergs met together. The powerful elite that controlled the money. The devil worshippers met outside of Washington in Virginia. And Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama was there. They said, Hillary, you little devilish whore. And I was just preaching like I think it ought to be preached. Barack Obama, you little ugly bat. You little big-eared bat, you'll be the president, but you're nothing but a puppet. You're going to do what I say, Barack. You illegal alien, we're going to let you control this country by name and by speech only. We're going to let you read off a teleprompter, glory to God. And Hillary Clinton, we're going to let you be Secretary of State. Even though you up the debt in your eyeballs and trying to win an election, we allowed you to get in debt, see? We allowed all these people to be broke by to try to support you. Because we want them broke. We want Democrats broke just like we want Republicans. Glory to God, I'm preaching it, ain't I? Anyway, let me get back down here to earth and calm down a minute. By God, I'm about to break a square here tonight. Hang on, we're going somewhere. But in any event, when the bill for the Federal Reserve was being considered, there was a few brave politicians. They spoke out against this creation, calling it the strangest, most dangerous advantage ever placed in the hands of the special privileged class by any government that ever existed. Now, even the Romans back in Jesus' day didn't have this advantage. You see? Congressman Victor Murdoch said, I, I do not blind myself to the fact this measure will not be effectual as a remedy for a great national evil. The concentrated control of credit. Here we are. Here we go. I'll remind you what it says in the book of Timothy. The love of money is the root of all evil. Now, having said that, glory to God, you might not believe in the New World Order, but I've come by to tell you something. I don't care if you call them New World Order or not. By God, you better call them evil because they have manipulated the stock market. They control it, dude. I mean, you know, I'm not an economist. I barely got out of high school. Again, I'll say, I got a 50 the first six weeks, a 50 the second six weeks. It took me two six weeks in the 12th grade to get a 100. I got a diploma, I ain't seen it since. I ain't been to Harvard. I ain't been to economic schools. I ain't been to Columbia University. I ain't been, but I got enough freaking common sense to know this crap ain't right. And you should know it. And end time's running out of time. But end time will be back, baby, because I'm rolling tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost.